Hey, this is Mikey with an After Effects quick tip. Today we're gonna to be creating a shape layer frame controller. Now the reason for this tutorial is sometimes as I go through my frames, sometimes the easiest way to create some animations is to have different shapes and different looks on each frame. And then you can use like a freeze frame or something to go through the animations. But on a shape layer, you can't do that. On a shape layer, when I go to the time menu, time remapping and freeze frame are grayed out. You just can't do it on a, on a shape layer. But there is a way around it, and we're going to use some expressions. And so you're going to learn some cool stuff about expressions today in this quick tip. So let's add to this an expression controller of a slider. Now on this path, this is where the different shapes are. I'm going to add an expression. To do that, I'm going to hold down Alt or Option on my keyboard and click on the stopwatch, and it opens up this expressions dialog box. And so expressions is kind of like a JavaScript type language. Um, so if you're used to that, it's very easy to use. And this is what I'm going to do. Let's see. We want to display certain keyframes. So we've got these keyframes in here, and I want to display this keyframe, keyframe 1, when I have this slider set to 1. I want to display keyframe 2 when I have the slider set to 2. So how we do that is we write key, and then we put in the number that we want. So say 2, and that's going to display 2. No matter where I'm at, it's only going to display what's at that keyframe. So let's make this work with the slider. So we've got key, double parentheses, and inside of this parentheses, I'm going to use an effect called clamp. Put two parentheses in there. And how clamp works is it needs three numbers. First number is the input, second number is the low, second and third number is the high. And right there it's disabled because I don't have it set up correctly. But what this is going to do is I'm going to input a number and then it's going to clamp it between the, the low number and the high number. And the reason why I want to clamp this is because if I slide this past or beyond what keyframes I have, it's going to give me an error. So let's in here. For the input, I'm going to just highlight that zero I wrote, grab my slider. For the low number, let's do one. And for the high number, we're going to write num keys. And make sure you capitalize key, the K in keys. And so what the high number is, it's going to count how many keyframes we have, so four. And so now what this does is if I go up above four or below one, it's not going to give me an error. So I can go one two, three, four. And so I can control what frame is visible. It doesn't matter where I'm at in the timeline. So that's how you do that with shape layers. A really cool tip, and I hope you use it in your projects.